What's going on guys? Welcome to your 47th Java tutorial and we're going to go back to constructors and using a, a constructor, um, ma mainly the keyword this because I have an email right here as you can see um, when we talked about constructors a little bit um, but uh, this person is kind of confused about the this and then passing in an argument. I'm not sure if I covered this or not but most likely I didn't if we're getting a question about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new class, uh, again our starting point class and we're going to also create a new class that's going to be um, construct uh, fun. That's a good class name. So within construct fun, we're going to have a new constructor, a default constructor. We're also going to set up some variables like int x equal to be 10, uh, int y equal to be 11 or 12, something like that. Who knows? Int uh, int z to be 13. 14. There we go. All right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add another constructor. So we're going to say public uh, construct fun. And this this is going to take in a int um, x, int y. So it might change our x and our y values, essentially. Um, so now we have two constructors within our, our class fun here. And all we're going to do is we're going to print out um, a system dot out dot print for each one of these constructors and we're going to print our x value uh, plus like a space uh, plus or y value uh, plus I'm just kind of winging this here so I'm not sure what exactly I'm doing um, but uh, we're going to have our space and then our z so that's what our system prints out it's going to print 10 12 14 um, right there all right, so we're going to copy this and also have it within our other constructor. Again, we pass, get passed in some information, our x and our y. So what we're first going to do before we do this system printout is change our x and our y values of our class. So again, when we're referring to our class name or our class variables, we want to say this. So we're going to say this dot x is equal to the x that we're getting passed in or the information that we're getting passed in. And then this dot y. Um, again equal to our y information that we're getting passed in through the constructor or the parameters um, right here. So now it'll print out something else. So the first parameter of our uh, the information that we get passed in, the y will print out the second parameter and then for z it's still going to be 14 of our class. So hopefully you guys understand everything that we've done so far. We're going to go back to our starting point class. We're going to create two objects um, that are going to be construct fun objects. Um, we'll say object one equal to a new and a new construct fun, and then also a construct uh, fun object two equal to a new oops um, construct fun with two parameters. We're going to change these to be twenty and twenty one. So. And we're, I'm sorry, and we're also going to go back to our construct fun class and we're going to have these both be print lines so it's a little bit more organized when we run our application. Oops, not LM, LN. All right, so now when we run this, as you would expect, we get, uh, you know, the first constructor that gets called, um, just the basic constructor, we get the 10, 12, 14. The second time we call it, we pass in some information 20 and 21 and then 14. So you, I mean, we haven't done anything new yet, but uh, the thing that is new is within our construct fun class, what we can say is this, and then we can pass in uh, nothing or whatever constructor we want to do. And when we refer to this with uh, some parentheses here, it's calling our constructor of this class. So it's going to be like, hey, the constructor of this class, it t that takes no parameters. So it's essentially going to call this fun constructor here. So now when we run this, um, we should get two lines here. So uh, we got 10, 12, 14, 10, 12, 14, because this is uh, referring to the method we just added, uh, this line here, where we called this with nothing passed in. So again, that's pretty much what the tutorial is about, is that this keyword with parentheses is calling our constructors. And again, we could go into our construct fun here class, and we could type uh, this and then pass in like, 15 or uh, yeah 15 and 17 um, so it's going to look for a constructor of this class that takes two parameters both integers it's going to be like oh yeah there's a constructor with two integers 
let's do that up. So let's just uh, save this, run it, see what happens now. Um, and we have 15, 17, 14 for two lines because, because again, we pass in the information here so it changes our variables once we call our constructor the first time and then it does this system print out and prints out that information and then the next time we run it, it prints out our construct fun class here. So again, the this with parentheses is just calling the constructor of the class you're currently in. Um, hopefully that makes some sense. But another thing that you guys need to know is when you call a constructor with the this and then some parameters within parentheses, it has to be on the first line of your constructor method here. Um, so if we just cut this out and pasted it below our system printout, it would give us an error because it has to be on the first line. Uh, that's why this error message is saying here it has to be the first line of a constructor. Um, so again, you can only call the this method within a constructor itself. And the main reason this is important is because we have some information here. Let's say we were creating a character in a game and we set the initial health and the initial like ability that the character has here with some kind of a constructor. Um, we could do that with like, you know, two methods here, um, health and also uh, ability. But we'd also call the super clock, or I'm sorry, the this um, just the basic default constructor here and within our default constructor we have all the other information that a general character would have like you know he can run this fast he can jump this high all, all the basic stuff so that's kinda why the this is important for um, calling different constructors within a constructor but again I just wanted to cover this topic because it is a request and I hope you guys enjoyed it I'll catch you later